Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Here we talk all about home education in the UK. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. So here we go. There are two things that I want to talk to you about today. And one is what are our plans for the summer from a home ed perspective and the second is an, an exciting new thing that I have got started um, over on another channel. So you all remember back in 2022 I uh, was doing videos for OutSchool and I've done a few videos since then for them but I've kept them on this channel. Uh, however I um, had kind of, um, that was all home ed videos, this is all home ed videos and uh, I've been struggling with doing home ed videos and I've worked out what it is. I'm bored. Uh, if I'm honest, uh, my ADHD does not like being bored and I really struggle to do things I find boring, which is why I've been so flaky. Uh, so I am not gonna continue doing, uh, trying to do weekly home ed videos because I literally feel like I have not very much left to say. And I have started a brand new channel called An Enchanted Life. Uh, you can search it, uh, the picture on it is not my face. It is an artist um, picture of kind of of my face. Um, it's made by AI, so it doesn't really look like me, but it's me, it's a dog, it's cute. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna be sharing all sorts of things on there. I will be doing some home ed videos, uh, but it's mainly going to be um, aspects from all parts of my life so there's going to be things about horses there's going to be things about cats guinea pigs dogs um parenting there's going to be baking cooking crafting um nature walks all things that are really important to myself and my family and um when i have done videos like that on here and i've tried to branch out away from home education those videos have never landed very well i found like they do not get very very many views and um i decided i actually took the lead from another youtuber who um got kind of got me into doing the channel in the first place and uh, she had a channel that was just food just for inches in america so just for homeschooling as she would say um and then as she got popular doing that she then branched out to another channel that was about everything so um i um and I th she may have done it the other way around actually saying that she might have done like an everything thing and then she branched out to just homeschooling on another channel but anyway whatever uh, I've done it this way around and so I've started an enchanted life you will also see me on TikTok Instagram and, uh, and on Facebook uh, my Instagrams will go to Facebook um, and also I'm going to be having a blog blog post so all of those links for those different social media channels will be in this the bottom of this video in the description if you want to go and check those out um I I'm really dedicating some time to an enchanted life to get some stuff, get it going. And so there'll be lots of stuff on there. Um, I'm doing it uh, a week to two weeks in advance. So there's always content to go out. Um, and I'm also to kind of keep this channel ticking over because I don't want this channel to end, but I also need it to be more low maintenance. And that is, I'm gonna have two videos a month on here. They will only about home, be about home education. They will not be the same as the videos about home education that are coming out on Enchanted Life. So you can watch both of them if you want to, and you can get home educational content on both of them. But this one will be only home education. And um, when I do videos, like when people ask me a question, Oh, well, what do you use for this? How did you use that? Then I will answer that video on an extra video on here rather than like have to explain it all the time to people. So there we go. So that's that. Uh, moving on from the news, from the new news. And that is uh, talking about summer activities and what we're going to be getting up to in the summer. So next month, I'm going to go into a more detailed um, video about what individual things we're going to be using in the summer like specific things that maybe we're planning to do and then um and then we will go from there uh so um things that we get up to we get up to in the summer now i as soon as it um as soon as it becomes the school holidays which will be at the end of july for those of us who don't know or don't remember um because i always forget i'm like where have all these kids come from <laughs> um uh we until that point we tend to try and be out and about as much as possible if we can we will go to the places that will be absolute jam-packed of school kids come the summer holidays uh so we will we might go to the beach we will go to moore's valley which is a country park near where we live we will 
uh, go to local local swimming holes in the new forest and streams and things and we will go to like the wildlife park and other attractions like that marwa zoo etc um just to get it all done before we have a couple of months where maybe we won't be there um july and august uh, we tend to avoid places like that unless we're going with family members who are who, who have school children that's the only time you'll catch us dead in any popular attraction over the summer unless it's pink it down with rain and we think no one's going to turn up then we're all over it <laughs> put on a coat and go anyway uh yes so we are going to be um focusing on outdoor, t outdoor time over the next few weeks to um just enjoy those days out uh, Charles is starting a taster session of a STEM club. So he's been doing computer science on a Tuesday with a local teacher who's also a home ed mum. Um, for, ooh, since January now. And he's really, really enjoyed it. He has found it really hard though. Like I think a classroom environment, but also the content. It's maybe a little bit old for him, like, or outside of his ability. Um, but uh, he wants to keep going with it. So, uh, however he's found the theory really hard and he just he felt for a long time like he just didn't really know anything so he, the teacher started is also starting a stem club now stem for those of you who don't know stands for science technology engineering and maths and this is like a computer science club but it's all hands-on stuff um uh if i'm gonna say this like you know what it means because i don't know what it means uh raspberry pi and there was another lego thing i can't remember what it old um i'm sure charles will tell me or chastise me for not remembering that we have just a little drink drink excuse me um yes so it's all going to be more hands-on stuff rather than the technical stuff on the computer and um uh yes so he will be he'll be doing that and that will be on tuesdays so that is one thing that is is um He'll, he won't be doing that. He'll only be doing that in June. And then that, um, um, he's going to go a couple of times to kind of get the feel of it. And then he'll be stopping that quite early. So he then, um, will have the rest of the summer off. And then obviously come the end of July, all of the other stuff that we do will be finishing. So we've kind of got this time frame of, um, of space where we want to get out and about. And we also want to really get some get some preparation done because um charles and i have been talking he recently did a um a entry level two assessment for english and maths uh, in functional skills and then he also did a 2012 which is the year he was born uh sats paper for science to kind of see where he is in relation just out of pure interest i do assess them throughout the year usually without them knowing uh, but this time i wanted to start preparing him because he will take some exams in the future and i wanted it to be normal for him uh, so and in the same once he starts high school level work when he's doing his actual high school diploma i will have to mark his stuff and grade it with a letter grade so i'm just kind of getting him used to that um and he did really really well he got an a in reading he got a b in writing a b in maths and a c in science so i'm very proud of him very impressed and we've actually decided because of that that we are going to instead of starting his high school diploma in two years time we're going to start it in one uh year's time because with this like we're just kind of hanging around waiting for two years uh there's not a lot that we need to do in that time to kind of fill any gaps it's not going to take two years it's going to take a year um so uh, his main thing that he needs to focus on is his writing um, and the content of his writing. He really struggles with content, like he can spell and he's got good grammar, but he really, and his handwriting is very neat, but he's like, what do I write? Like every single time. Um, I am considering trying to find him a creative writing class to see if um, that will help. Uh, but uh, he might be quite reluctant about giving that a go. Um... But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if that's something I can get him to do. Uh, so that's something that I'm um, thinking about because he can do that over the summer. Oh, God, so, hate this. so I wanted to talk a little bit about what our summer activities are going to be, like what we're going to be getting up to in the next couple of months. Um, and obviously there's going to be children everywhere come the end of July because all of the school children will be everywhere um and that's fine they're allowed to be everywhere it's just very stressful <laughs> for those of us who enjoy the peace and quiet ish um so we're gonna be getting um, a few days out under our belt 
Uh, Charles and I are off to, I'm whispering this so my other kids don't hear because they don't know, um, we're off to Splashdown next week with a friend, um, with a friend of Charles's, he's also my friend because he's adorable and I love him, um, so uh, for his birthday, so that's one day out that we wouldn't do in the summer holidays, we're also going to be throwing in a, a Marwell Zoo trip, a New Forest Wildlife Park trip, Charles has some artwork up at Fursey Gardens in the New Forest if you are local or you fancy a day trip if you're not too far away. Um, and we're going to be going and visiting that a lot, taking some friends with us um, and going to see that. So if you are local or you would like to be, you would, you maybe are, you know, you can come over this way. We would uh, love to, um, I'd love you to go and check out Charles's artwork. Um, you will see it because there's a little plaque next to it that says Charles Beale and you'll be like, oh, I know him. Um, <laughs> so there we go. That's, um, that's one of the things we'll be doing and we will be doing that over the summer holidays as well taking people whose um children may be at school or maybe they work a lot during the summer they're like you know before the summer and um, friends who are teachers and such so we're going to be getting a lot of days out done as i said we'll also be doing things like the beach because we will avoid it like the plague in the summer holidays uh, so my children aren't too keen on the beach they're not they don't like sand and neither am i but we probably will try and get a couple of beach days in and we occasionally like to have like Take, get a takeaway and then go and sit on the beach uh, we are currently saving up for something um some like something very specific things like we need um a new trampoline and we need um um and we uh i'm saving up personally for something specific as well uh that i'm not going to share just yet because i feel like i can almost already hear family members who think they are and they uh, are allowed to have opinions okay, someone's really loud music um complaining about it so I'm not sharing that just yet I don't think any of them watch me but still <laughs> you never know um I keep looking at this bit of hair because I just love it this is my favorite bit of hair I'm gonna get my hair done soon it's gonna be more blonde again but I keep looking and I'm like oh I love this bit of hair <laughs> it's distracting me up the corner of my eye um we are gonna be um having uh, a little bit of a rest of our usual things and i'm going to completely revamp our home ed going into the autumn so this summer i am going to actually order a couple of workbooks that are called i think they're the ones i want to, are called brain quest and they have alexa stop the timer i've got to take albert to beavers in a second so i'm just trying to film this quickly um i think they're called brain quest and they're summer workbooks and they're kind of like um transition between one grade and another and they're american ones and i think i'm probably gonna get i'm gonna get a couple of those for each of the kids and um they could do those just a <laughs> i'll work out how many pages they need to do to have completed them by uh, the end of the summer and we'll probably just do that like try and take some time uh, prioritize outside time prioritize them playing outside because they've got um they've this year they've made friends with a lot of children on the estate and they're really enjoying playing out uh, together and i think they're probably at the age where if they all go together they could probably go to the park on our estate um as a as a gang um so yeah i'm kind of thinking like i want them to be able to be doing that as much as possible we also need to, so we need to get a new trampoline, so they'll be playing on that a lot. Um, I'm thinking about getting one that's got like a tent to go over it, or you, that you can put over it, um, to make it more interesting. It means they can go on it when it's raining as well, or we can put that on or whatever. Um, so yes, I think I'm going to use those workbooks. I will link them in the description if they still do them. Um, if not, I will link the alternative. And um, I think, yeah, we're just going to take it, we're just going to chill out a bit, I think. And... Um, just really enjoy the season and um, we've got a couple of pagan holidays coming up so um, in I don't know when this is going to go out but uh, on the 20, 21st, the 21st, 20th, it's either the 20th or the 21st this year I can't remember but we'll be celebrating Letha or the summer solstice on the 21st. Um, I think it's actually supposed to be the 20th this year but we'll like in the evening the summer solstice begins so we'll probably celebrate it on the 21st. Um, so yes we'll be doing that and then um we've also got <laughs> we've also got lamas which is on the first of october first of october first of august um so we've got those kind of coming up and um 
yeah, as I said, just to trying to do as cheap things as possible or things that we have season passes for. So there's the Oceanarium in Bournemouth, which is one of our nearest big towns. We've got um, we've got Fursey Gardens. We've got, I forgot what it's called then. We've got the New Forest Wildlife Park, and we will have Moors Valley. Um, as well as a car parking pass. So we're gonna try and get as much time there as possible um, over the next few weeks. Uh, we can't take the dog to any of them except Moors Valley, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, she, As long as she gets a good run around um, off the lead, she's quite happy to be at home and sleep. So yeah, there we go. That's what our plans are over the next few, uh, over the next few weeks and months is do uh, kind of the bare minimum education wise. Um, English and maths and then uh, maybe a few out school classes uh, just um, maybe once or twice a week I'll get all of them doing something I think just to keep them ticking over and then um, and then we will um, and yeah and there's just lots of time outside so there you go so I'm gonna go now because I've got to get out to beavers I am being an extra adult today and we're going on a walk yay <laughs> it's one of those days you know like when you know the person when you the person you were yesterday or a week ago who was like full of energy was asked to do something and they go and you go yes that sounds like a great idea I don't want to do that and then it's the actual day and now you're tired and grumpy and you don't want to do it um who's the giant numpty who volunteered me for this nonsense oh wait it's me <laughs> so there we go uh let's go get him in his uniform and get ready to go yay uh, I, I, I obviously jest. I'm a guiding leader, guiding girl, guiding UK leader. I love hanging out with children. Uh, I just don't really want to go for a walk. If I had to, if I was being an extra adult in the hut, I would have been totally fine with it. But I know I'm not have to go on a walk. <laughs> anyway, if you have not liked and subscribed already, please do. It fills me with joy, and I do a little dance. Yay! Every time someone subscribes, and we're over two thousand now. It's amazing. Um. If you want to go and check out An Enchanted Life, all of the links are in the description. I would love to see you over there. Um, I have got, I've been writing, been writing in this notebook, in this notebook. Look at all the plans. This is me writing blog posts and planning Instagram. And I've got literally got so much. I've been so busy. So don't forget to check it out. All the links are in the description and I will see you in about two weeks probably uh because i am as i said keeping it low key and low maintenance on this channel now just so i can keep it going for you take care bye